Oh, why does it always switch to that? That's so weird. What's up, YouTube? Let's take a look at what's trending. I wonder if this is like, you know, uh, echo chambered, whatever, for you page. I don't know, but let's check it out right now. Uh, I just clicked in gaming because I want to, it's kind of like what I'm interested. At the top of the list, we have Cypher PK, a video about Tfue being back. I, I don't know too much about him. I just know that he was into Fortnite, got really big, and then I guess he decided to take a break or something. Uh, let's take a quick look. Oh, it's a short, so let's see what it's about. That was only five months ago. I felt like it was a, a lot longer. Um, oh yeah, I just want to turn up the audio so we can hear that better. Okay. He quit everything and we haven't heard a thing from him since. Until today. In his announcement video, <laughs> Yeah, that's a money shot right there. Classic Tifu, looking very buff, by the way. He's definitely been working out. Isn't he like a MMA fighter? During this break, and he's walking towards us, and as the camera pans around, smoking and just tossing his own cigarette. Okay. That's that's a pretty funny. <laughs> this is a pretty funny video. Oh, oh right, he's on kick. It was like, um, it was like that one, what was that video? It was a really great video of somebody who transitioned. It was like one of the first, oh, I think it was XQC. It was, it was, his was epic. XQC moving to kick video. When he calls someone up, uh, this guy tried to one-up him. Obviously, TPU needed to learn from the best and here is the best big announcement the this guy's years, so freaking funny man i love it in that time i've streamed thousands Where is of it? amazing things, things like <laughs> he's so reactive i love it and i never could have done wait was that him <laughs> there's no way there's no way he left his room like more than like a kilometer. <laughs> Just some random videos. It had to have been paid. Like these paid clips. No, no, it had to be free. Cheeto. <laughs> oh, here's the announcement. Here's the announcement. <laughs> Classic. Is he watching? Gets a call from his manager, lol. That was it. That was the good. That was the best so far. <laughs> and uh, I'm guessing that's exactly what this guy is trying to do make it like epic i mean it was pretty funny like jumping out of the beach into his own house and open window <laughs> that was kind of funny um let's see what else what else is happening on gaming come on where is it wake up um where the frick is it let's go home i can't find it uh Where is it? Oh, trending. Okay. <clears throat> and in gaming, so we got Tfue coming back. OG Fortnite meme Olympics. What? No, I don't. I don't I'm not that interested in that. <clears throat> I cheated on Roblox. That's kind of sad, brother. Roblox eat kittens when they see a headless guy <laughs> with a deep voice. What?
What? What the heck's a E kitten? <clears throat> Poor Bacon. Another Roblox one. Three million views 16 hours ago by Just Fires. How the Roblox Bacon was created. Oh, <laughs> it's his hair. Wow. All this time. It was bacon. Mario makeup of random images cover every level. By Doug Doug. No. Why do I even try? By Wesley Watt. What is this? Oh, it's Fortnite. No, thanks. He thought being six foot three is tall. Dr. Disrespect. Uh, <clears throat> I would have clicked, but it's Fortnite again. Uh, 900k views. Uh, I don't know how to feel. I show speed. <laughs> Holy smokes, this guy is... This guy is on, uh, on, on top of the game. <clears throat> ah, of course. I had to have a freaking ad. Well, we'll play it, I guess. What's this about, anyway? I don't know how to feel. Okay. Is he gonna scream out of nowhere? Oh shoot, this is a four hour video. Man. No, no thanks. <laughs> he is a funny guy though. Um, oh hey, Linus Tech Tips. So yeah, it's starting to become more uh, for you page because I, I do watch a, quite a bit of Linus Tech Tips. My kids watch Half Mal. Um, I don't know what this is. He said he was the best shooter in the world, so they made him prove it. That's why I hate my Minecraft friends. Massive W is why Roblox is boring now. Oh, no, it's a 10-minute video. No, thanks. Well, you know what? Let's hear. Let's hear it. Let's see. Roblox has gotten extremely boring for me lately. I mean... I always thought it was boring. Yeah, you know, I, I only I tried it to see, you know, if it could redeem itself, but not really. On this page. Like, clearly that it's it's literally like a, I don't know, like a, I don't know if I, if I would use the word better, or even on on the same line as, like what games were like back when, uh, in the '90s, I believe, or in the 2000s. When there was like new, not new grounds, but like before that, shockwave.com or addictinggames.com. Do you guys remember addictinggames.com? Uh, that's kind of what Roblox feels like. Uh, I mean, my kids love it. Of course, it's more for kids. So this guy looks like he's 32. So uh, I don't see how we'd be having fun with, with games like that. It's just, it's... It, there's not much effort put into them. I mean, there is effort. I imagine there's a lot of effort in some of them. Some of them are really big games, but it's just not it's not the same as like a I played every game on the Discover page, but it feels that way. And I, I want to find out why. So then I went to this game here called Rallymons, and if you don't know what Rallymon was that Pokemon? This website that shows the most popular games in terms of Okay, well, well so get on with it. We got a game called Death Ball. It, it oh, he's okay. That, it's basically the same game. Also, saw games like, and if we zoom in here a little bit, let's zoom on in. Brookhaven. Brookhaven house emoji. Role that doesn't play. sound like, Avenue, house emoji, like a game for a 32 year old man. Scrolling through here and actually noticed even more. We've got another All right. Life together house emoji role play. Radcliffe City house emoji. I mean, like, role yeah, play. it's, right it's, it's like for kids play. to play, like make believe, like play pretend, you know? It's not for us grown men. <laughs> There's a brand new AI tool oh, damn it. Yeah, I don't... I don't know why there's there's people my age playing this game. It really is like a... It's just so goofy and cartoony. Inside of a city, shop, get a house. And we've got bike of hell really cool i've actually genuinely been playing this game a little bit it's pretty i mean like there's really good games 
like this on um I think it's Xbox. Xbox um gaming. There's this really cool BMX one if you if you like games like this, like if you want to ride a bike on obstacles, like it's really good. Like is it, talking from like a like man to man, come on, like you should try it. If you haven't already, it's really good. I just can't remember the name of it. It's probably like BMX or like downhill or something. No, it's not that one. But there's a lot of like good games if you just get the subscription for Xbox, is it? I don't have one, but I did at one point and it had a really cool game for for the bike. I think you'd really enjoy it. The level, just like the other game. I'm guessing what happened. This is just too simple. Developer or something, but no, these are these games. Some of these games, I know it too much. I don't like yeah, that's enough of that. But I mean, it's not a surprise that um, Roblox has become boring. <laughs> I mean, like like I said, if you're if you're like a, a grown adult, if you're over the age of what twenty five. It, it would be it just seems strange to me why anyone would find roblox anything but a kid's game like boring so that's that's my take on that uh what's this tricky friend of minecraft literally someone's in your house twitter ratios oh god let's let's see some of these ratios hence why you're you are what you attract Hence, why you're nobody. I love being vegan. Thank you so much for being vegan. April Fools. No. <laughs> what? Goes first, then cereal. Use me. At what? To this like button. Hi. Say hi to this ratio. This is the best feature Android has ever added. People still have Androids. People are still getting ratioed. I. Uh, that's just so cringe the whole video sorry Vaz cool it's just not my kind of thing obviously I'm not the audience target let's see funny tumblr posts is tumblr still a thing I thought tumblr went extinct I beat every challenge level in tabs I don't even know what that is I built illusions in survival minecraft Three mistakes you're probably making in Clash Royale. I never tried it. This game has grown in its popularity. I wonder wonder why. Who's who's the top one playing it right now? Oh, no one's playing it right now. <laughs> oh god. It was at like 113,000 earlier. It's at 8.5,000. Let's see. Can I mute that? There we go. Michelle. Oh, like Michelle. That's funny. With 1.5 thousand viewers, eh? Today I saw someone I used to I used to um, watch their streams a long time ago, and uh, they were at an average of six viewers. I'm not saying I'm better. My average is like 1.2 viewers whenever I stream, because like. I'm I'm going about Twitch streaming the wrong way. You're supposed to promote yourself on other social media first, and then stream when you got a following. I'm doing it backwards. Anyways, um, it's funny. I'm just I'm just noticing the the whole viewer thing on Twitch where it's like, wow, this friend is not. They weren't a friend, but this person that I used to watch, they're playing this. Uh, I think it was Call of Duty. Can't remember which one one of the war zones or something um always constantly like around five or six viewers but today all of a sudden they're like at 300 and something constant viewers and i see and like I, I i still follow them so i see that and i see that growth i'm like wow that's amazing so i click in to see like wow there's got to be like a lot of chatters now maybe they were rated and there was it just clicked it's the same people that have always been in the Maybe there was like two or three, four new people, but there was no, there was no more chatting. There was just, that was really weird to see. But recently 
thanks to uh, uh, folks like Asmongold. <laughs> you learn about like stream view botting and how you can just embed viewers into your stream and make it look like there's a whole bunch of viewers in your stream and and people will more be more likely to click it it's kind of weird but uh it is what it is sometimes you have to fake it like fake fake it until hopefully you make it that's what it seems like people are trying to do now on twitch and it's kind of sad but like hey whoa. It's a tough world, right? People got to do what they want to do. <laughs> I'm laughing saying that because it's just so... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's something that's going to be uh, beneficial to your own mind in the long run. I mean, like, maybe. Maybe you'll get the fame and money that you're looking for by doing that. But you're no longer like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is. There's something. I just can't put my finger on it. It's, it's, it's akin to lying. And that's what I think. And um, I don't know. It's just so weird. I'm thinking about like, if you had a, if you had a store and you put reviews about your store, like you sell cakes or something like that. And you basically pay for fake view <laughs> reviews to, to to be like all four and five stars. And then people will start buying your cakes and be like, well, you no, know, this cake takes, tastes like shit. Like, but there's like all these overwhelming positive reviews and your like maybe three, five negative reviews. I don't know if that, that transfers the same to, to what we're talking about here with view botting or stream, stream embedding or view embedding, whatever, whatever it's called. I don't know. It's weird. These are all Roblox videos probably because of my kids. I don't know if this is really trending anymore because it's like we're down to like 200,000 views i mean that's quite a lot in 13 hours that's a lot who's watching this and i wonder if that happens with uh if youtube does that if, like is it possible to generate a substantial amount of fake views i wonder that i wonder i wonder so hard because that would suck then people then there's going to be the issue of like well how do you know? Like, can you create multiple accounts? Can your friends create multiple accounts and like your video to boost the views so that it can be like higher up on the boosted higher up on the pay, on the front page of everyone on YouTube? Like, is that is that happening on YouTube? That'd be a shame. Oh, this thing, the cookie thing. I haven't seen the most recent thing. <laughs> I am kind of curious just because um, I do enjoy watching Asmin's content in the mornings, some mornings when he, when he finally wakes up <laughs> and um, I don't know, just seeing, I, I don't, I don't even know if it's like an act anymore. For these streamers like Pokemon, you know, she's saying it was a joke, uh, calling people who can't afford her $30 cookies, was it $20, $30, an extremely crazy priced bag of cookies that you can buy for like a third of the price and they're the exact same cookies, just minus vitamin D or something. <laughs> it's just weird. It's like the truth always comes to light and so it's like tying back to the the fake views thing that's always going to come to light and it's going to affect you negatively <laughs> and it could ruin you it could ruin you because it's like wow you're a freaking liar you've always you you've started on a, on a on a foundation of lies and now like i don't know there's 
it's not it's not that I love to laugh at other people's misfortunes. It's more like it 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 seems like you know like when you're cheering your sports team and 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 when they're executing the correct movements so that they can progress in winning the game it's like it's beautifully played so you cheer you stand up and cheer it's like something like that when the truth is finally out it, it's kind of similar it's like yeah i'm on the side of truth and sometimes the truth isn't like isn't very kind it can be quite rude so it's not like I'm saying we have to be nice all the time or something like that. No, I don't believe in that. I believe that the side of truth and speaking truth is way more valuable to society as a whole than it is to fake it till you make it kind of thing. Like lie about things and, and, and cheat and work your way up in a false manner and that's just my opinion it to be a joke i can see why it came off as insensitive and i apologize for that i also understand that the current price of the cookies may be expensive for some and promise will continue to consider pricing uh to keep mina as affordable as possible this is what was said towards one rude chatter i i felt like she was going to say that that the that, that the comment was just for one rude chatter and uh, as much as i believe in standing up for yourself it's like there was something that asman said in an earlier video about business practices and those who own a business would be wise to follow the principle of the customer is always right meaning the customer, the general population, not like, you know, the outliers, not every customer is right, but the gen the customer as a whole, like, is, is always right, that you're always trying to serve them. And uh, if you're pointing out one customer, one rude chatter, because they're a customer, they're paying you for your entertainment services, you, may, you might as well call all your customers then, the poor ones, because that's who it was aimed at, right? Not intended to be a general statement towards my community. I don't think it was a joke. I don't think she meant it as a joke. No. I don't think it was a joke. No, I don't know. Because she said a lot of things before and after that that reinforced what she thought. And you can even see that. I, uh, I watched this off stream. I watched Charlie's video about this a little bit. And Charlie actually posted some of the... Uh, Huh. Who's Charlie? Oh, Moisty. Right, yeah. Just a joke. She doesn't do that. If you're a broke boy, just say so. <laughs> if you're a broke boy, just say so. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, pokey mean. I, I think it just... <sighs> The more you grow, you know, it's it's harder to stay humble, I guess. Like, there's so many people that are just praising you constantly and giving you gifts and money. It's hard to to feel like oh, you're just a normal human being, but you are. You just have more than others at this point in life. Which is also more responsibility, and uh, you're also more in the spotlight. <laughs> that was such a freaking evil cackling. I was so evil. I was like, I think, what was the word used earlier? Condescending. If you want to play eight, pay eight dollars okay, for Twitter Blue for some pictures, that's okay. That's okay. That was such a weird thing to say. 
when I heard that, I'm like, what does that have to do with anything? Like, why are you pointing out what anyone in your fan base is using their money on other than If you want to use your eight dollars for Twitter Blue, then you can do that. You spend your money how you want. I'll spend mine how I want. Why was it? I can't say that. I can't say that. I can understand why it would be so triggering. I do understand why it would be so triggering. Like, maybe you were on your last straw. This person may have been, like, pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. But still, it's like you are being watched by thousands. And now hun tens and hundreds of thousands of people. And, uh... <sighs> oh, man. It's, it's tough being at the top, eh? <laughs> Yikes. You got to watch out what you say, careful what you don't say, careful what you do, careful what you don't do. It's like, oh, it's a lot of responsibility when you get to the top. And everyone else will spend theirs how they want. That's the beauty. That seems to be where the, the topic died, at least from... So there it is. Yep. And now she's saying it's a joke. It was a joke to oh. just... I aimed at one person a problem with that right because like she's putting she's putting food out there and people are like okay they're either gonna buy it or not buy it with these oh jeez. Oh, yeah i don't know it wasn't in good it was it wasn't i don't know it felt like it was a really um triggered like short Kurt and 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 rude and just <sighs> such bad business practice that's that's all, that's what i think right. that's how i feel yeah. gluten-free uh with these ingredients uh, are priced like this her target audience isn't just gamer dudes uh because health isn't usually their priority so this is a good uh yeah no she means gluten-free um <laughs> what and I've seen this this topic uh, it conflating it with bad actors. You see, Logan Paul. Huh? Think about how much shit Logan Paul gets for prime energy. <laughs> I see that crap everywhere. Mostly in like those cheap stores. What's it called? Showcase and stuff like that. What is the, um, let's see. Um, Twitter, I guess. What's happening there with Pokemon recently? The whole Pokemon situation is fucking tired already. But this is hilarious. If they start selling at Pokemon lol cookies in store. Midnight mini cookies. $28? It's four bags. Wait, what? <laughs> Four bags at twenty eight dollars is that's seven seven dollars. <laughs> yeah, seven seven dollars. <laughs> Matt Matt is hard for me. Oh my god, you're an idiot. Wait, what? That's funny. You know? <laughs> I'm not a fan of Pokemon, but come on, she's obviously not being serious. That's seven. I know math is hard. Well, you're an idiot. But uh... I'm not a fan of Pokemon, but come on, she's obviously not being serious. You really think so, Bach? I don't know. I don't know. Cookie gate? What? <laughs> Anyways, that's about as far as I'm gonna go with this video. I don't I don't know what else I wanna talk about and I'm tired. I think I'm gonna go to sleep now. Thank you all for watching and uh yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.